we will solve this today's lead code problem. This is the largest local values in a matrix. Uh, sorry for uh, yesterday. Uh, I was very busy uh, for preparing my interviews yesterday. So I was not able to record the video. Although uh, I have solved that question, that question was really good problem uh, using a, exactly heap. Uh, if you are able to show, uh, short, uh, if you are able to solve using heap, well and good, thumbs up. Uh, otherwise, you can. Uh, I will be make on videos uh, 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 as soon as possible. Yesterday's videos. Okay, so let, we will see today's lead problem, right? So this is largest local value in a matrix. So here we have given n cross n matrix read generate an integer matrix max local of size n minus two cross n minus two such that matrix local ij is equal to the largest value of three cross three matrix in grid centered around row i plus one and column j plus one. In other words, we want to find the largest value in every contiguous three cross three matrix in grid rather than generated matrix. So uh, if you are a beginner at first time, you will find this something confusing right uh, because when i uh, solved it previously in any contest i think if this is something which i solved in contest i find it uh, difficult to understand this uh, in in first time of course right so i need to again uh, read on second third time to understand this right and if you see here uh, this example is also confusing so because they have not explained really so much but just focus on this line we want to find the largest value in every contiguous three cross three matrix in grid. So you, uh, we want to generate n minus two cross n minus two size of matrix such that every cell of this matrix is the maximum value, which is, which is occurs in contiguous three cross three matrix. So suppose in this nine, nine, eight, five, six, two, eight, two, six. So this is, three cross three matrix. So in this three cross three matrix, nine is the maximum value which we get. So that's why here nine is present, right? Then we are shift to uh, in right direction. So nine, eight, one, six, two, six, two, six, four has a maximum value as nine. So that's why this nine has a uh, uh, in this uh, second cell, right? So we need to generate n minus two cross n minus two integer. Why? Because there we need to consider three cross three matrix and there will be n minus two uh, rows and minus two uh, columns will be possible if we uh, see every three cross three matrix right so we need to find every three cross three mat uh, cell matrix in this uh, sub matrix in this matrix and uh, find the maximum value on that three cross three matrix and that will be the answer of my cell right this is the question which is uh, which is the uh, just of this question right if you don't understand this uh, this is just a question which uh, you need to understand if you have uh, if you have uh, uh, read it twice or thrice you will get understood automatically right uh, so whenever you don't understand any question read twice thrice right and uh, think about it what is trying to say the, in this question right so this is how this is question which is uh, we need to just see three cross three matrix in every uh, every three cross three matrix in the grid and find the maximum value and put it in the answer, an answer right that will be an answer right so so the question is very easy now because if you see the constraint here is 100 is only a constraint right <coughs> sorry so we can consider we can uh, brute force this simply right we can move to every three cross three matrix and find a maximum value which can be uh, which can be uh, my answer and put it in my answer and return it right so we can apply a brute force brute force right so how we will implement it the main question is how we will uh, move in every three cross three matrix and find the maximum value right so for that let's take an example of this 9981 and 5626 eight two six four and this is six two two six two right so this is the matrix given which is four cross four right this is four cross four and n minus two will be two cross four we need to find two cross two matrix so if you see here how we will move so suppose the one thing is here that we i need to move uh, in three cross three right nine to six 
and then I need to move nine to four. Then I need to move five to two. Then I need to move to uh, six to two, right? So this is how we need to move. So how we will move in this? So if you see, if I start from here, I need to go to uh, this three. Uh, th I need to cover this uh, three rows and three columns, right? And when I start from this, I need to cover this three rows and this three columns. So the first thing is uh, from where I can start. The first thing is I can start till n minus two. I can start till n minus three. Right? Why? Because this is four and this is four minus three, which is one. So zero and one. So I can start from this only, right? I can't start from this here because this will not cover my three cross three. So I can start till this nine only, right? So if I give a numbering to this, that will be uh, good to understand you, make you understand, right? So let's give this number zero. Okay, this. Uh, okay, put no problem. So this zero. This will be given as one. <coughs> This will be given as one. This will be given as uh, two. This will be given as a three, and this will we give four, right? So this is the uh, rows, and this is the column, right? Okay, sorry. Uh, I've got, uh, <laughs> this should be zero. This should be one. This should be two, and this should be three. Uh, this will be nothing. <clears throat> so this is the rows and columns we will uh, define here. So we we'll, we can it, we can start we can start till n minus three only, right? So this will know. And again, till which point we can iterate? So we can iterate. We can start from this i zero. Suppose the, we can start from i zero and j zero. So till we can go to this three part we can go move can this three part right so how we will move in this dynamically so if you see this i0 uh, so we need to start from so we can start from here we can start from here we can start from here also we can start from here also so for so if you see here these three things so we we can start from from a uh, rows also so if you see we can start from here and we can start from here also right so we can move we can we need to move in row also we need to move in column also so for that we need to move in rows as well as columns to find all the three cross three matrix to find all the three cross three matrix right so for that i need to also uh, move this uh, starting point. So let's suppose I have started from uh, zero till. Uh, suppose I have started from uh, zero till what? Till n minus uh, till n minus three, right? Because I can start from zero to n minus three, which I have seen here. And in columns, it is same as rows because n minus three will be also there. So for rows, I can also start from Q, uh, zero to n minus three, right? So this is how we will start and and uh, we need for iteration i need to make another two, uh, two variables this is the starting point now and for and for iteration for and for covering three cross three matrix and finding the and for finding the and for finding the max for finding the maximum value among that i need to i need to iterate in that i need to iterate in that three cross three matrix so for that i will take another variable which is i and we from where it will start it will start at p because this p is the starting point of for the row this is for the row this is for the column so this is the starting point, right? This is the starting point. This is the starting point from where we will start and iterate in of three cross three matrix. So this is the starting point 
from where we trade so this is the starting point and till where we can we need to we can uh, till which uh, which point we can uh, trade p plus 3 because we need to cover 3 cross 3 so i need to move in 3 cross 3 so suppose if p is 0 so we can move till 2 only so suppose p is 1 we can move till 4 only right uh, till uh, before 4 only right so this this we can move and we will uh, so i i is equals to p 2 i is to p plus 3 right and same for the j start from q to j less than q plus 3 the same thing happen so this is the it don't if you see this is the two columns the uh, two loops this is again two loops so there are four nested loops to cover all the three cross three matrix and so what we will need to do we start from p pq and then we will iterate in ij and we will find the maximum value covering all the three uh, particular three matrix and stored in an answer right right so let's see a uh, dry run for a for a example so start from zero comma zero so now this p zero q zero now we will uh, this so this i will start from p so i will uh, this i is i will start uh, i will start from uh, q this i is not me this is i is variable i right this variable i is start from zero and this variable j start from zero because this is zero now at a uh, two it will give uh, it will go to i is less than two and this will go to j less than two so we need to iterate in i to z to 0 to and 0 to 2 so this 0 to 2 and this 9 5 8 so in this 3 cross 3 matrix in this 3 cross 3 matrix which is the maximum 9 so we will store in our uh, this this answer is 9 so we will store the answer 9 which will be in vector of vector so we will store 9 here right again when p becomes 1 Q is still 0, so I will become 1, variable I bec become 1, and this will become 3. So, this is again a second. This is the just shift 981, 626, 264. So, in this, maximum value is 9. So, the answer is 9. So, the row is the row, uh, the, uh, the, the first row is filled. Now, we will start from second row. So, now this. Uh, now this uh, Q uh, so uh, before uh, this zero sorry uh, sorry 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 the uh, this the uh, the first this Q will be started from one and this J will one now this will be nine right now uh, when this will uh, now for this P become one and Q becomes zero so this will also zero and this will one becomes one and this is accordingly managed so. Uh, for that i is equals to 1 2 i is equals to 3 because uh, sorry i is less than 4 and j will become less than 3 so for that p started from 1 which is this 5 6 2 8 2 6 and 6 2 2 2 so that is the maximum value is 8 so here is 8 comma now this p1 now this q will becomes 1 again and this j will become 1 so this will become 4 so we need to shift it so here 6 2 6 2 6 4 and 2 2 2 the maximum value is this, 6 so here answer is also good so just just take pen and paper and try it on it right simply you will you will understand it right you will understand well and very well so this is how we will solve this problem by taking four nested loops right so this is how we will solve this problem so let's start to implement so first i need to define i need to uh, see the length of grid and size i need to make n minus 2 so i will form this right so let's do, uh, let's not analyze with uh, this n minus 2 let's keep it as an answer so for i need to take four loops so first is the starting point this is the starting points it will so move till what where till n minus 3 so either you write equals to n minus 3 or you write n minus 2 this is the same thing right either you write this n minus 3 or either you write n minus 2 right because suppose here is 4 so 4 minus 3 is 1 so we can 
start from this nine also, we, but we can't start from eight. So n minus three, p plus plus. Again, this is for uh, p is for rows. Now we need to define for columns also the same thing. The column should be n minus three, q plus plus, right? Okay. So now I need to initialize with this p and move till p plus three. And this will be plus plus again. And this I need to start from Q and it will move to P. And this is J plus plus. Now, when we want to uh, find this max value, so we need to find after starting point. So I will initialize the variable here max, right? And also, uh, I need to find the vector part the see the first this first row this first when this first will change this q will change so it is when q the starting point is changed so this is the first matrix this is the first matrix because this if this starting point is changed so this starting point start from 9 then q will becomes 1 so it will shift to this 9 because the column shifted so this will shift to this 9 so this will give me 9 this will give me 9 so this is the first matrix which will we get so for that i need to initialize the matrix on here on the top which will be a temp matrix right so what we need to do i need to find the max value from this grid ij and now i need to find this grid my grid ij and now after this completion i need to insert in my temp and chart in my thumb this max value right and after completing this for row i need to insert this temp in my temp because this is vector dot vector so i can insert this here and at last i will return right so this max is for three cross three calculation this temp is for the first row right and this answer is the final so this is how we will return the answer let's run this and see whether we have solved this problem correctly. We have passed the sample test case. Let's submit it. Yeah, we have successfully submitted it. So, if you and now we will analyze the time and the space complexity that you already understood, I think that will be O of so see we need to move till n minus three. So this will be. O of n minus we need to move from 0 to n minus 3 that will be total n minus 2 right because 0 will also include it so this is uh, this is the square this is the square part and I also need to move in 3 cross 3 matrix so that will be 9 so this is multiplied with 9 so ultimately this if you resolve this this ultimately becomes n square right this is 20 becomes n square. So this is the time complexity overall and the space complexity will be. So we are we are taking an extra answer to store n minus 2. So that will be O of n minus 2 ka square. Ka square which is overall O of n square. So this is how we will solve the problem and the, this is the time and the space complexity of this solution. Right. Hope you understand very well. Uh, thank you so much.